St. Petersburg, Russia. My name is Sergey Baklikov. You're watching Baklikov Live, and I'm beginning the first real summer Saturday night. Because actually, the great weather to St. Petersburg started coming only since uh, 12th of June, and this is technically the first like really summer weekend. Plus 22 degrees Celsius. It's uh, maybe now seems uh, like uh, pretty much windy but it's not as windy as it seems through the microphone yes it's like um, a wind but it's a nice you know pleasant pleasant wind here and it's not that windy in this city now it's windy here on the bridge in the middle of the river Niva river Neva River, so many boats. This is one of the wings of the Admiral ship, St. Petersburg Admiral ship. Well, let me tell you that today we're going to have a very long walk all around the historic city center of St. Petersburg. We're just going to enjoy the city, the streets, the people, the vibe, atmosphere, ambience. I say hello to everybody. Vetli Forsett, Stacey O'Shields, Saul Goodman, Cory C, Silvana Hori, uh, Lady Naomi, Alexander Staraženko, Stacey O'Shields, Ploykin. Everybody, hello. Our palace embankment. The embankment which begins from the Winter Palace and goes until the Marble Palace, so literally the Palace Embankment. This is our main Royal Palace, the Winter Palace. Now it's the Hermitage, the largest art museum in Russia. Hello, Greg Macmillan, Mesh Moore, Mr. Ralf Rosa. Here are the guys from Crime Core. Now they their band called Bear Rock. Sons of 
means civil defense. So it's for plan. Everything goes according to the plan. Hello, Susan M. Michael K, Claudia Wodlich, only gold to me in 72. I'm saying hi to everybody. We just begun, continue joining. People are chilling on the grass. Hi, Palandio. Susan M. Yeah, it's all look good today. It's amazing, amazing St. Petersburg. On the first real summer Saturday night. If you remember, it was kind of chilly until the 12th of June. And since 12th of June, the weather begun getting really better. Oh, Technology World for fighting Zelenograd the best. Jan Order Strong. Hello guys. Another band. The summer it's time for the summer is time for street music. Another street band. Hello. Bus. 
Duval Roy Neal. Hi, dudes. Getting to Palace Square. Yesterday, yet yesterday, the Palace Square was closed because there went the constructions for the upcoming Scarlet Sales Festival. It's uh, in fact the prom party. Another band here now on a break. At the 24th of June, that's a prom party for all the school boys and school girls who finished the school this week. It's gonna be a very big day. Nowhere in Russia the prom party is better than in St. Petersburg, not even in Moscow. So uh, the prom party will be here on the square. You see what a huge stage. Top stars of Russia will be invited here and then they will go to the palace embankments to watch the recreation of a uh, historic big historic events like for example the battle on Neva river and stuff like that so we are now on palace square the main square of the city alexander colon the general headquarters, that semicircle building in front of us. There's the dome of St. Isaac's Cathedral. I was taking you there last week. And of course, our Hermitage, the Winter Palace. The summer is the time when people are sitting right on the palace square and during their time making the photographs. Another musician. Hi, Barb. Barb Filer. Barb Filer. Hi. 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 It's a stream. 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 Yeah. Just 250. <laughs> they said they are waiting for friends who are delaying, who are coming late. You see, huge stage. Beautiful St. Petersburg. Yes, do you wonders. This is the facts everybody knows. Uh, probably except Ronald. Hi, Tiberius Claudius. Here are all the time the guys walking in the costumes of Peter the Great and Catherine the second they suggesting to photograph with them for money okay 276 people online which is awesome 
you continue joining today it's a definitely great walk this is one of uh, those days and places which is like i mean all advantages it's hard to fail on a day like this amazing weather amazing architecture lots of people lots of awesome ladies many musicians hello jared thank you for love the girl says let's go for a boat ride she is the promoter but i said not today but soon of course i will take you for traditional for the summer nights uh boat rides the night rides under the raising draw bridges the preparations for the upcoming Scarlet Sales Festival keep going but they have to finish in the next five days Hi Doxy Trash Jimmy Lumar Sean Kane I should be there so if you think that you should be here then why you are not here only don't tell me that BS that you were waiting for when our country gets better because I mean this is still depend just on you No, I'm local, but I'm making the live stream for English language audience. That's it. Hello, Paul Lester. You guys all welcome. The local time there. This clocks are correct hello Thomas Simic Ilker second here now came Zipernek if Zipernek came expect the politics in the nearest times to come hello cabana cabana karaiman too This is the summer terrace of the Rockstar Cafe. Live music there. Silvana Hori, charming and vibrant St. Petersburg. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Vox Museum.
a little Trino del Gro Taglia. Another street show. Hi, Marissa Lucker. 300 people in line. It's awesome to see all. Keep joining. Oh, finally, who was asking me about like the controversial people, like beggars? Finally, we have found one. Hope everybody happy now. Hi, TGW Maverick. The Literary Cafe since 1816 here. Stacy O'Shields, thank you for the super chats. Stacy, I hope you have a great weekend. I already reached the embankment of Moika River. Yes, where's all the people? No idea, no idea. Where's all the people? The road police, the PS road police. Hi, Renato Massey, Martin Freire. Oh, Martin Freire just became a member. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining the membership of my channel. Everybody, never forget to join the membership of my channel because 100% of the revenue from memberships goes for the road trips. Here is a little piece of California and St. Petersburg, Connells Jr.
Светлана Антонова. You're welcome. Five million boy. That's already at the corner of Большая Конюшина, Grand Four Stable Street and Nesky Prospect. You see sanctions works little by little. People resettle on the horses. Summer terraces. Mesh Moore, thank you so much. Thank you for gifting the membership. And here are the guys who are offering the motorcycle rides and this guy offering the tours on the roof, on the rooftops. And that's St. Pizza and St. Paul Lutheran Church. Okay, they got customers. It's the tours around the historic St. Petersburg on a motorcycle. And Schagemeyer, no audio. Yeah, no audio. something like this meanwhile we are already reached Kazansky Cathedral hi big Mitch you're right it's Kazansky or Kazan Cathedral Nihao <coughs> That's how. how. <coughs> uh, it's a Chinese uh, streamer. You see, as I told you, uh, the sanctions little by little begins to work. People resettle on the horses. Uh, and that's Male Kanyushane Street, uh, small horse stable streets because it leads to the former imperial horse stables. 
Now there's the summer terrace of the restaurant called Katyusha. And these are book walks. So called book walks. It's the open air bookstore which is open here every summer. Book walks. You see how really great it is. The bookstore, open air. It's all in Nikolai Gogol, one of the most significant Russian writers. sessions everywhere and now the musicians on a break Now reaching the embankments of uh, Nevsky Prospect, uh, Grybayev Canal, the embankment of Grybayev Canal, it's corner with Nevsky. Hi, Jeremy Hunt. Hi, William Kennedy. Hi guys. Там стрим ведется на русский. Да. Пойдем на Нет, сейчас нет. А вы там стрим очень красивый. Тем не менее, сейчас другое запланировано. Можете номер записать, потом распланируем крышу. Ну позже, позже.
Thank you for your skillful filming, Silvana. It's all for you. I just wanted to enjoy the time. High dominance and mega leads. The clock tower of City Duma. Weather looks really good. Yes, the weather is amazing, plus 22 degrees Celsius. And it's not as uh, windy here as it used to be in the beginning of the stream when I was staying in the middle of the river on the open space. Here in between of the buildings, it's, it's, uh, it's quiet. Basilica of St. Ca Catherine. The Ricky G, hello. <laughs> Used to faster, hi man. Hello, Valery Gergiev. Hi, Kalpish Harvani. India, Russia, friends forever. Oh, yes, Bricks. Bricks. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Hi, it's Rinko. Look at all this totalitarian oppression to the young peeps who know only gray color. Exactly, exactly. The level of oppression is unbelievable here. Again, these girls with aperol spritz. Mikhailovsky streets, Michael's streets, lead to Mikhailovsky, uh, Mikhailovsky Palace, Michael's Palace, where is now the Russian Museum. And this is the Grand Hall of St. Petersburg Philharmonic, named after Dmitry Shostakovich. A rock pub and and uh, Freddie Mercury. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust, and show must go on. And I continue the show. Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile, here is already Gastine Dvor, our largest and oldest mall since 1785. Yes, I'm saying 1785. Armenian church Hi Kitabel 18 I invite you to come in the tour one day one day man But for now, I still have so much to explore in my own country, Russia, and we'll continue focusing on Russia. Hi. Goodbye, blue sky. Hello, dudes. Okay, going to the underpass. Brock Freden, Sergey is going to Magadan next. Well, not next, but it's inevitable. Sooner or later, but that's inevitable. It's only a question of time. It's just a question of time. Sandra Mule. Hi, man. Hello, Artyom M. There's Mobotics camera. Hi, Mr. Yamox. Mobotics camera. Mobotics camera. 
when I'm working here, there's always somebody who are telling me they saw me on Mobutix camera. 24-7 St. Petersburg camera. It's stationary. It's always staying here. Elysee's brother's store. Hello, nobody. You know, uh, Male Sadove. A small garden street. Here is the photo exhibit dedicated to the international Pyotr Tchaikovsky competition. That's the competition for a young musicians. Yelisey Brothers store, and here is Yelisey Cat. It brings the luck. In case if you will make a wish, we'll throw the coin, and the coin will stay there on the platform next to Cat Yelisey. William Kennedy just became a member. William, thank you for joining the membership of my channel again. It's much appreciated. St. Catherine Garden there with the monument to St. Catherine. Karim and I'm already getting closer to the embankment of Fantanka River continue this amazing Saturday night walk the first like real summer summer Saturday night walk Thank you. 
maximum of beauty for you today. Gastropop, Ivan and Maria, Russian cuisine. the lights hanging on the terrace, Stacey O'Shields said. It's almost 10 o'clock and it's like yet yeah, more than a half an hour until the beginning, only the beginning of the sunset. This uh, Chinese streamer also continue to stream. He is absolutely shocked to see St. Petersburg. He is amazed with the beauty of St. Petersburg. Hi, Lena Bokova. Hello again. Hi, Philip. What a shame that Western tourists can no longer visit. They can. They can. There is no any prohibition from Russia to visit the country. Okay, we are now almost next to Rubinstein Street, the most bar street in whole Russia. 
Tunui Tahitian Fire 987. Hello, Sergey. How often do you hear the emergency sirens being tested in your city? Was sent a video of the emergency sirens by one of my Russian friends. Not that often. Not that often at all. Zelenograd, the best. Thank you for the super chats with donation alerts. Your firm super chat an amount of five, four, three points. Two, one rules. Hi, Carlos. Brock Freden, Sergey is the king of Saint Petersburg. Thank you, thank you for another super chat. Yeah, really, you can hear yourself. Well, you watch like a uh, tons of my videos, and uh, you can say yourself that here we don't hear the sirens pretty often. Ivan, привет. Что скажешь по поводу поднятия трех флагов сегодня возле лахты? Блин, я сегодня вообще весь день спал. Как-то пропустил этот момент. Не в курсе истории. Но ты можешь написать, что там к чему. Я просто сегодня вообще весь день спал. Весь день просто встал и сразу пошел гулять. Вот сейчас гуляю. Hello, Albina. Albina here in the chat. She's now, by the way, walking somewhere as well with Anastasia. Ну, я сейчас сначала иду на Рубинштейна, потом уже пройду в сторону третьего места. All right, Rubinstein Street. Let's get to Rubinstein Street. Антон Рубинштейн, he was the composer, pianist, and uh, the founder of Saint Petersburg Music Conservatory. Rubenstein. It's a 700 meter street with the biggest concentration of the bars and restaurants. You see they are everywhere here. And the funniest thing is that it begins with McDonald's. But at the same time it's like uh, probably the silliest idea to go to McDonald's which is now called Vkusne Tochka on this street which is having so many standalone great restaurants. Grazie ragazze, wine studio. The cyclists. Four hundred fourteen people online. Continue joining. Hi, the Nordic chats. Hi, video T. Delight. New York City guns. Hello, and thank you for the super sticker. Just every day, 48 chairs, just club.
А, Липоп. Три флага подняли. Первая Россия, Российская империя, Третья СССР. Ну, нормально отношусь тогда. Hi, Ryan Webb. So many beautiful Russian women everywhere. Yes, because this is Russia, man. The small drama theater. This is a punk brew bar. In Russia, they are cleaning already clean streets all the time. <laughs> Natalia Krivensova, hello. Yours? No, ты прав, ты прав. Но лишним не будет, видишь. I keep walking all the way along Rubinstein Street and I hope you enjoy. Are you enjoying? Hi dog. Ну, 
Hi, Dennis B. You enjoy? That's the main thing. That's all I want. Very enjoyable evening, thanks. <clears throat> Silvana, enjoy. Sergei Davlatov, born in Ufa, raised here on Rubinstein Street, house 23, then moved to New York. Hi, A. Victor. Hi, everybody who continued joining. This is amazing, amazing Saturday night. Bad Hombre when it's victory season, of course, June, July, and August, the summer month. At the moment, I've reached the end of Rubinstein Street, and now we'll go in the opposite direction on another side. And this is the place which is called Five Corners, because it's literally the intersection of like four streets which are creating five corners. No 
woman, no cry. Sunshine girl, hello sunshine girl, it's been a while, I saw you, hope everything is okay. You look fit, Sergei. Well, these days I'm not that fit, but it could be worth, if not my almost daily walking streams. Hi, good fella. There was the wine bar and mostly ladies because it's ladies love to see and drinking wine. Mollis. The very first Irish pub in St. Petersburg since 1994. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Awesome. Awesome night. Huh? Once again. What country are you from? Ah, I am from Russia. But I'm making the stream for English language audience. It's very good. Okay. And where are you from? Here. Well, okay, got it. Same here. Same here. <laughs> Ekaterina Postushkova, hello. Dudes, love your streams. Thank you for love. Oh, Cuba, the restaurant of Cuban life. Куба далеко, Куба далеко, Куба близко. What street is this? That's Rubinstein Street. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Completely fine. Perfume Chipaikina, Hi to Vyborg. Vyborg is 
Russia. Tell them we say hi. Ah, uh, excuse me, already too far from them. Uka. Евгений Гордиенко, hello. the time now in St. Petersburg. It's uh, 22.17, 10.17 p.m. God's, God's bar. The bar with probably most controversial design. What are your opinions on the government? L asking me. Dude, just look at this. Just look at this. What can be the opinion about your government after having such a life? We are almost returned to Nevsky Prospect, but our walk will keep going. We then will go to Litany Prospect, 
Литийный проспект. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. Deep beats, groovy bass lines. Come on, girl. We'll continue to Litini Prospect, then Zhukovsky Street, Nikrasov Street, all the bar streets in St. Pete. Alright, this is now how we return to Nevsky Prospect. Crazy freaking bikers! Sure that these are not well healed sons and daughters of oligarchs. Are they normal everyday peeps? Well, count up how many great people you saw today. Here is just not as many oligarchs, okay? Okay, I'm turning to Litini Prospect. Almost 500 people online. Trash.
here is the place which is called, called the third place. Let's get to the third place. Anastasia? Anastasia? I feel like Sprint. I don't know if you have a Планируете сидеть? А? Только планируете еще сидеть? Пока не А у меня не Да, No, it's not coincidence. I knew they are here. They were writing me like about 30 minutes ago that they are here. Good fella, have beer mofo. We'll get later, man. Thank you. Sweating sausage, say hi for me. It's been a long time. Whoa. Тебе sweating sausage, привет, говорит. Слышишь? Тебе Swelling Sausage привет говорит. Hey Swelling, do I have to give a half of a super sticker to Anastasia? Нет, он больше одного девяносто девяти не отправляет. Ну что Просто я хочу дальше пойти на Жуковского, потом на Некрасова. Ой, ну мы за такой шататься будем. 
Тогда я сейчас вот по кругу пройду, пройду сюда снова. Ну, придешь сюда. Да, давай я сейчас. Давай. У нас сегодня учили. Да. Ладно. Рада половиться. Окей. Okay. Лейца, Лейца. Окей, okay, look. The girl says that they won't go further with me. And we will meet later. I just want to continue walk showing all around my plan today is not like really stuff anywhere because i want you to show more of a uh, city vibe Well, she is Anastasia, not Anna. Anastasia, like Anastasia. In Russian language, pronounced as Anastasia. Do you stream? Yes. How much is it? Now there are 440. On YouTube. Yes. You see, I see, I'm a big dad. I'm a big dad, so I'm on YouTube. Не на ТикТоке. Ну там 27 тысяч. А кто смотрит? В основном иностранцы. А, я понял, набивка, да, слетели? Это англоязычный стрим. Спасибо. This young guy told me that I am, uh, how to say, крутой. It means like great. Okay, have a nice walk. Going to go, going to go buy some furniture. Okay, swelling. See you, man. All right, Litini Prospect, another place with the bars. Like, let's say here, El Chapo Bar. You see. On the other side of the street, there's El Chapo bar and a so-called new bar and show bar Zavist. You know what they mean? You know what they mean with the show bar? Yes, that's what they mean. I'm now going to Zhukovsky Street. Let me tell you that we just were on um, Rubinstein Street. And let me tell you that for many, many years, it was like mostly the only street in St. Petersburg known as a bar street. But look, um, there was the time it turned to be from one side over popular, over popular. From another side, the locals, like, a little bit got tired of it, okay? I mean, like, all the same streets, all the same bars. And uh, the locals created the demands for more bars and more places. That's how Zhukovsky Street, which is relatively, you see, not far from uh, Rubinstein, turns into another bar street. And there, yet another street called Nikrasov Street. It goes parallel to Zhukovsky. It is also turned to the bar street. So many bars here. And now, while on Rubinstein Street, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, tourists, the people from other cities who are coming to St. Petersburg, here mostly hanging out the locals. Twenty-two thirty-five local time. 
Nice hat. Nice dress. Nice skirt. Nice glasses. Nice hair. Okay, Sinu Pushkin. Blue Pushkin. Let me show you. Hear the live music every weekend. because it was the girl singing so she was singing since i saw him standing there yep i mean she was singing i saw him standing there when an original that was her standing there but that's because paul mccartney used to sing that okay yet я сказал что в той песне она поет когда я увидел его стоящим там а в оригинале поется ее, потому что а, поет Пол Маккартни. Да. да. Это же 63-й год. Это первый трек на альбоме, на первом альбоме. Да. Окей, Питер Лонтоп. The people and city looks amazing. Can't wait to be the same. Peter's greetings from Boise, Idaho. Cheers. Hi to Idaho. Thank you for the super chats. To know it, I and fire. The communist totalitarian oppression of Putin's regime in St. Petersburg is terrifying. Look at all these oppressed people. I need a safe space to go cry about this. Yes, yes. You need to create the channel on YouTube. And uh, you need to get the microphone, the lights, some backlights on the background, the table. You need to make such a sad face. You need to sigh. You need to sigh more. And every single day, you need to broadcast about how weird it is here and to pray in the end. Bingo. Al Capone, Al Capone bar. Here every frigging weekend, 
the acoustic acoustic performances you see the lineup today what is this it's a happy day the guys from happy day необходимо пиво у вас есть стаут или темное пиво вот стаут и необходим но мне лучше здесь Прекрасно, прекрасно, прекрасно. Финали, финали. Ой, ой, ой. Ребяточки, ребяточки. Ой, ой, ой. Сильнуха, ай. Вот пела, а в женьке где? Hello to Wisconsin. Ha! 
by Valiant One. Hi everybody who continue joining. Спасибо. Окей, happy days. Happy days. Okay, keep walking Zhukovsky Street, another bar street in St. Pete. Brick Gastro Bar. Sydney Levine. Thank you for the super seeker. Meanwhile, here you can get some shawarma. Eight twelve bar. That's bar with usually many ladies. Hi, dog. <laughs> that girl wanted to kiss the camera. And uh, that is Dr. Moro Bar. You remember I was here last week. Dr. Moro with all the cages, with all the sad mother things. There's dead poets bar, dead poets, because you see, this is Zhukovsky Street, the next street, Mayakovsky. Both are poets and both are dead. Rosemary, Rosemary, Kid Love, what a wonderful city, thank you for the live stream from Scotland with love, you're welcome, you're welcome so frigging much, this is Propka Bar, actually I like this bar, but I was here two weeks ago, 
don't be a pussy and drink bourbon. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi guys. Nice to meet you. Same here. Me не обходим стелс. Только мне нужно переводом оплатить. Я забыл карточку дома. Можно, да? Или там этот СБП? Этот как его? Black Ship или Blantyne Scottish Styles? Да, Black Ship мне нужен. Все на этом. Black Ship молодой человек. Хорошо. Ну, я думаю, вот там встану. Вот здесь встану. Don't be a pussy and drink bourbon. Well, I remember... I remember what happened with Ronald. About like two years ago, when he was drinking bourbon. But to be fair, before that he like used to drink a lot of a lot of beer and uh, it seems like even vodka. Most of all, wanted me to come to the bar and uh, drink beer. And when I came to the bar to drink beer, he's gone. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Sergey is always very nice to everybody who is nice with him. That's the way to go. Yes, and vice versa. If you're coming to me with your shit, okay, so then I will not trying to be polite. Alan Belia, this one's on me, Sergey. Thank you. Hi, I am XSPB. You 
you guys will come here, you also will have a great time hanging out. All the streets of St. Petersburg and all these bars. You, you have no idea how much you will enjoy it. Hey, Polykin. Как ты, как ты два дня назад, как ты два дня назад узнал, как я снимал? Меня кто-то полил, или, может быть, ты меня вообще спалил, когда я снимал? Ну, что это будет съемка с высоким моноподом? Да, из Петербурга, просто стрим англоязычный. Просто, видимо, удачно совпало. А большая аудитория у тебя? Ну, не, не очень. 27, 27 тысяч. А после чего? Понял. Она с Питером Питер, питерская аудитория? Нет, нет, это вообще англоязычная аудитория. Слушай, ну, короче, ну, я как руководитель команды разработчиков и приложение мобильного. Мы вместо Тиндера вышли на рынок. Вот. Просто хотел... Я думал, что ты иностранец, чтобы это показать и на весь мир типа, заявить, что мы не боимся санкций и сделали приложение, которое лучше. Ну, можно. Можно? можно? Конечно. Отлично. Просто. Просто можно вот здесь встать. Да. А как это? Ты можешь на английском да. сказать? So, сначала представлю. So here now I've met the guy in this bar, an IT guy, IT-шник. What's your name? Как тебя зовут? Майкл. Майкл. Миша. Миша. Михаил. Миша or Майкл. In like English variation. Okay, so uh, he want to say that it's not a problem that Tinder now going away from Russia because they are making another application, dating application, which is going to be even better than Tinder. Yes. And he, he wants to show one. Jam Beam. Uh, Jam Beam. Uh, Russian dating. Uh, как сказать, что по функционалу такой же, как uh, Tinder. Но мы добавили возможность знакомства uh, с самым приложением. According to the functional, it's same as Tinder, but with even more options. Yeah. Jam Beam. Плюс можно знакомиться с самым заведением. Also, it's like the possibility to find people by GPS and the dates, uh, the guys right in the bars. Ploykin, понял тебя, понял. Ну, за Петербург, за приложение, да, что Спасибо. Look, if, uh, if uh, Pavel Durov created the application which is better than Facebook, vk.com, if he has created the telegram which is better than any messenger then why jim 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 can't be better than tinder everything is possible Почему бы и нет? Почему бы ну, это да, приложение? Пошли. Не можно сказать как и на Web Store, так и Play Market. Потому что оно уже доступно для скачивания. Сейчас mm -hmm. онлайн теперь без проблем будет скачать. Окей. Okay. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. And, uh, for example, uh, there was, uh, как там, Booking, but now we have Astrovok and Yandex Travel. So not a big deal. Вот я раньше бронировал на Букинге, а сейчас островок, а проблем. И, и этот, но я сейчас перешел на Яндекс Тревел, потому что они еще 10% возвращают. А когда ты отели именно арендовываешь, это чувствительно, потому что, например, стоит там, допустим, комната там 5000, да? 500 рублей. Это вот те, там, грубо говоря, на городах там, доехать до аэропорта. Неплохо. Да, я вам говорю, у нас одни из самых сильных разработчиков, в принципе, мы умеем делать хороший продукт, ориентированный именно на как на российский рынок, так и на международный рынок. Он сказал, что мы имеем очень интересных разработчиков, IT-разработчиков здесь, которые уже доказали, что они могут делать хорошие продукты как для России, как для рынка интернационального. Более того, 
Actually, a half of Silicon Valley are Russians. Более того, даже в Силиконе горение там половина русских. Да, да. У нас очень сильный маркетолог креативный. Бренд Сосала, который в Британии сейчас набрал оборот. Это же наша подача вернулся на наших маркетологов. Более там знаменитый, очень дорогой, типа, даже правда. они очень изворотливы и когда их пытаются заставлять в вещи, включаются включаться все инстинкты и они находят максимально простой путь, чтобы выбраться там, из ситуации скатической. Uh, he's saying that it's even good that we are now in the condition of sanctions because when we are getting into the condition of oppression uh, historically we activate our brain even more than ever and we are finding the solution for every situation. Так, Брок Фрейден, tell him to add a super chat function. Добавь там функцию, добавьте функцию. Один говорит, добавьте там функцию типа супер чата. В этом. Скажи, в приложении. Приложение. Ну, скажи, что ну, мы фишку в приложении, потому что мы еще можем как бы благодарить B2B сегмент, потому что мы увеличим средний чек для ресторанов. Плюс будет еще дополнительный премиум подписки, как в Тиндере, для тех пользователей, которые будут принимать конкретный вверх, будут в лепчаты, то есть и в жестком модерации, то есть отсутствие ботов, грубо говоря, и скам сейчас. Ну, то есть, это не только проверенные лучшие заведения mm -hmm. по всей стране и в том числе и миру. Окей, они будут иметь какие-то премиум функции, включая что-то такое, и они также будут заботиться о ботах и о скамерах. And actually, the scammers on dating sites, they can be really a problem. I understand that you're not a liberal. I got it right away that he is not a liberal. He loves his country. Так, он Энни Санди Мюл, loving your coverage, Сергей, especially the stereo letter last weekend, the groove mix last night. Thank you. Слава России. Глория to Russia. Ну, я знаешь, как понял, когда ты сказал, когда ты сразу когда ты сказал, что вы создаете в России приложение, которое будет там лучше, чем Tinder, уже, уже так я понял. Потому что в противном случае должно было быть нытье. То есть ты должен очень пожаловаться. Right. А что это такое? Мы делаем лучше, нам похер он расслал, мы нашли решение, и мы рады, что Тиндер уходит, потому что освобождается. Нет, ты вообще, иначе ты должен был пожаловаться вообще, что Тиндер уходит, и что все пропало. Теперь вообще мы здесь никак, без Тиндера вообще никак. Мы сделали лучше, мы сделали лучше. И мы еще подключили B2B сегмент, я говорю, то есть зарабатывают все мы, B2B сегмент, и пользователи знакомятся. Причем фишка в том, что благодаря тому, что ты знакомишься в заведении, процесс общения, от, ну, момент от привет до живой встречи буквально 5-7 минут, потому что это происходит в максимально ограниченном пространстве, и вот вы друг напротив друга. И... Или можешь даже в соседнем баре, если он тоже авторизован будет. Да, если он тоже авторизован, то есть, ну, это удобно. И ты сразу откидываешь фильтр, Uh, то есть ты сразу видишь, что если ты еще этого менеджера, он готов знакомиться, тебе не нужно гадать на подсознание, то есть тратить время и вызывать в себе сомнения, а готова она знакомиться или нет. Она скачала приложение, там, она онлайн, значит она готова к знакомству и ты можешь действовать. Ну особенно это Москва, Петербург и тем более. Да, да. Хотя знаешь, я вот был в 80, 80 городах последние три года. Движуха, сейчас во всех крупных городах движуха. Вот очень странно. А в Новосибирск, Екатеринбург, Челябинск, Самара, Уфа. Вот сейчас вот не меньшая движуха во всех этих крупных городах. Да, да. Вот мы, мы сейчас хотим э, заколабиться, с, короче, сделать нашу точку в самом северной стороне страны, это Тириберг. Да. Я есть, там был, да, я вот 100 километров от Мурманска. Да, офигенный место северно-сяне называется, ресторан. Там очень красиво, прекрасный вид, вот мы там хотим э, сделать... Это типа... возле Кита? Да, да. Там это вот такие костики. А, да. Это самый северный ресторан, да, это называется северный вид. Да, да, я помню, я помню, там еще этот... 
Настоящие кости выложим. Настоящие, да, да. Вот мы с ними, либо с ними, либо с ними, с ними. Кто первый согласится, потому что это будет, ну, только одно место. Ну вот Мурманск тоже, Мурманск, особенно в сезон, там вот эти два отеля, Меридиан и Азиум, там вообще тоже полный солд вот в Мурманске тоже мы сейчас и хотим. Если мы если говорим с Териберкой и поедем в Териберку, то и сразу взять Мурманск. Там, кстати, у них в Териберке есть этот да, сайт Лаварни. Да, я знаю, да. Вот. У них там крабы, пивоварни. Я помню, там я вот остановился в этом отеле. Как, ну там, короче, чуваки, вот они, которые уже открыли пивоварню, они там заметили отельчик рядом прям. Вот. Я помню, при, приехал туда, взял вот этого пивка местного. И пошел, после того, как я там поснимал, тоже стрим делал. Там же тоже все, цивилизация сейчас. Там интернет, там прям вышки прям стоит, прям, там идеальный, идеальный коннект. Вот. И потом, когда уже пошел отдыхать, взял этого пивка и все, отдыхать. Потом обратно поехал в Мурманск, потом поехал. Ну, вообще, я, у меня был трип. Ну, когда я делаю трипы, я как бы обычно как бы сегмент не делаю. Вот этот трип был, он, я вообще... Из Петербурга не поднялся, сначала проехал, получается, сколько? Полторы тысячи километров до Териберки, а потом поехал в Мурманск, потом там идет Калининградск, Мончегорск, Апатиты, Кировск, Кейн, Кандалакша, Беломорск, Сигежа. Да. То есть вот вниз спускался. Ага. Потом в Медвежегорск, там, короче, нас снимали, любовь и голуби в Медвежегорске. Вот. Мужик там заезжал, там местный мужик, когда узнал, что дом продают, он, короче, его выкупил, ехал там все восстанавливать, делать так, чтобы все было так, как было в фильме. Там немножко поменялось, только вот это голубяки не трогали, вот, а так все меняется. И, короче, к нему можно в любой момент заехать на, на Яндекс.Картах, на навигаторе прям заливаешь дом, и там буквально с трассы там съезд 2 километра, и ты там, к нему можно там прям заехать, постучаться, и он такой, типа, ну, типа, у него там нет какой-то входной такси, типа просто, если хочешь, можешь оставить данные в любой. Вот. У вас много мест таких, где там. Мне очень нравится Север, Сейд озеро, хочу побывать. Какое озеро? Север, по-моему, озеро называется. Где это? Припарей цивилизатор, Курманская область. Ну там вообще озер полно, там тысячи их. Да, это совсем озер. Тысячи. Я вообще вот все хочу, знаешь, съездить. Я, я просто вот свой прошлогодний Трип по Мурманской области и по Карелии начал в апреле, поэтому я не мог начать с самой такой северо-восточной точки, а просто полуостров русский. Туда надо ехать где-то в мае, июнь, июль, и надо именно на такой нормальной точке ехать. А я на Солярис там ехал, у меня там арендный Солярис был, вот. Ну вот я вот так вот езжу. В основном, конечно, я езжу, стараюсь ездить по городам. Вот. Сейчас готовлюсь к новому трипу. Я, кстати, вот взял месяц назад, полтора, третий Москвич. Ну, хоть я и понимаю, что это как бы китайский автомобиль, но я понимаю, что это то, что сейчас помогло выжить, ну вот как бы остаться на лаву, то есть, чтобы чуваки не разбежались, получали зарплату, а у девелоперов, у конструкторов появилось время для того, чтобы заработать первую нашу модель. Ну, там, с какого-то там года, ну, там, с конца 2000-х. Это был какой-то самый последний Москве. Шкода. Да, там, нет, нет, не надо, там, тоже другой. Причем такой, в принципе, достаточно приличный. Ну, и там еще, видишь, взялся за это дело Собянин, а я как-то ему более-менее доверяю, потому что он когда если берется, вот я был что в Тюмени был, да, а, что вот в Москве, я видел, что он сделал в Тюмени, тоже там о нем слава до сих пор ходит, потому что туда приезжает, там офигевает вообще, Тюмени отличнейший город, отличный, вот. а он здесь в Тюмени, поэтому он, он там показал очень высокую эффективность, по сути, показал себя как менеджер именно нового уровня, именно как бы эффективного управления. Не просто там что-то сидел, где-то на местах, что-то там отмывал и так далее, ничего не делал. А как бы как очень эффективный управленец, который что-то реально сделал, и вот его в Москву пригласили. И в Москве тоже он делает. Я сам с Москвы, я туда приехал, за переехал в Питер, поэтому да, я понимаю, что ты говоришь. Поэтому как бы у меня есть все-таки 
какое-то доверие, что Бак реально сделает. Не, он, он хороший эффективный менеджер. И делает свою работу хорошо. Качественно. Ну, и в любом случае сейчас в Россию пришло понимание того, что э, вопрос состоит не в том, что, что можем ли что-то купить или нет, а можем ли это мы произвести, потому что, видишь, нам могут просто, мы можем что-то купить, у нас у России очень много денег, но нам это не продадут. Поэтому вопрос не в том, что можешь это купить или нет, а вопрос в том, можешь ли это произвести. Также здесь у нас бы и с, с и вообще бы и мастер карта вообще бы полностью нагнули. Если бы еще в 15 году, в 15 году я был а, на саммите БРИКС, и как раз я попал, ну, вот единственный раз в своей, в своей жизни я видел Путина, как раз вот на пресс-конференции, на саммите БРИКС и ШОС. И он тогда сказал, у меня даже есть это видео, он говорит, нам надо запустить свой план в 2015 году. То есть в 2014 году уже вся эта пошла война. В 2015 году создает, что это будет продолжаться, и это будет становиться только все как бы более остро. И в 2015 году он говорит, нам нужно запустить свой пластик, и запускают мир. И сейчас, как если бы не было мира, то как бы нас вообще бы просто бы просто загнули бы. И, конечно, это мы бы тоже были. Ну, как бы, окей, мы опять начали носить кэш, все такое. Но это было бы, как сказать, ну, неудобно. Это уже как бы действительно так. Вам бы система бы тогда пошатнула. Да, да. А так, пожалуйста, пожалуйста. Кредит, сейчас кредитование, то, что надо было кэш переводить. Да. Слушай, ну, прикольно. Короче, они тебя слушают, да? К сожалению, сейчас они не все понимают, что я говорю, но, в принципе, я это все и так говорю. Время так. Ладно, вот, идем. Ты пишу, а ты это твоя основная работа или чем-то другим занимаешься? Ну, это дальше это основная работа. Основная? Вот. Ладно, двинусь дальше. У меня тематика стрима такова, что я дохожу, то есть показываю. Там. Вот зашел буквально пиво выпить. А, на YouTube, да? Да, если что, вот баклыков лайф, ну я баклыщик, баклыков чудо, что писаться. Кстати, как раз вчера какой-то тоже айтишник меня подписался. Я вчера играл в сет, на университетской набережной стоял, играл в прямом эфире сет, диджейский. Там какой-то чувак интересовался, а потом выяснилось, что у него самого канала какой-то тоже пойти посвященный. Как называется? Бак Лыков. Бак Лыков. Можешь на русском даже. Не-не. Короче, надо просто... Сейчас мы здесь. Прикольно. Спасибо. Ладно, пойду дальше. Да, все, дальше. Все. Россия. Всем пока. Пока. All right, dudes. All right. I've met the IT specialist who creating now the dating application. Well, already they are created that after Tinder is gone. But that's funny, that's funny. That's another example of how it's actually turned to be great when those Western uh, applications are going away because this is finally what gives a huge impulse for the Russian IT specialists to create the Russian analog. It was with Booking, Booking.com, when uh, everybody just started to use Ostrovok and Yandex Travel. And same with now dating applications. Hi guys. <laughs> Liverpool. Liverpool bar. You remember this is 
the Beatles theme bar every every day they are playing the rock music of 1950s 1960s but on a weekend that's mostly about the Beatles songs Liverpool So, Sean Kane, most of all, most than anyone else, was telling me to go to the bar. But after all, when I came to the bar, was never drinking with me. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Local time here, 11, 16. Okay, I return to Zhukovsky Street. Feramon. Sounds like an adult shop, but in fact, this is lounge bar. Still so white out, amazing white nights. Yes, Susan, best time in St. Pete. Best time. Lebowski bar. I was taking you to this bar. That's the Lebowski themed bar. The corner of Zhukovsky Street and Vastania. Vastania Street. All right, I'm gonna turn to Vastania. Hi, Jacques Godbout. I wonder if still the biggest thing you care about is the presence of squirrels in the downtowns of the Russian cities. Do you have a jewelry district in St. Petersburg? I'm not sure what you're asking. William Shell, what the hell is? Uh, what the hell is jewelry district? Uya bar, you remember that frigging bar? Actually, Uya bar, you can you can translate it as fucking bar. The bar where they are intentionally rude with you. 
and you need to know that before you go there or you may get shocked well i was taking you to this bar before and i remember that when uh, my wife's cousin liana was coming here and we never told her that this is such a bar and she was in absolute shock and she was shocked as much as even when we told her that this is like all you know just like some kind of joke this is just uh, you know such a format anyway anyway she was not able to calm down emotionally okay and then we just had to leave Look there on the background, you can see that the sunsets keep going. It's 11.22, but the sunset keep going. circle absence even the sky is pure beauty tonight that is true that is true Okay, I am now turned to Nikrasov Street. As I told you, another bar street. Another place where people hanging out. Mapuche bar. You remember that Latina themed bar? Latino themed.
Luca Cell, hello. When will you return? Will you broadcast from Moscow again? When I will come to Moscow, it will not me to return because I live in St. Petersburg. So the correct question is when you will come to Moscow again? Will you broadcast from Moscow again? But dudes, that's absolutely silly question. If I will come, so you really, th you really think that I will come to Moscow, I will come to Moscow and I will not stream there? Are you okay? Are you okay, man? Anybody home? Anybody home? Dude, wake up, wake up. Dude, dude, if I will come to Moscow again, if, of course I will stream again. Wake up, man. Wake up, man. The whole mini van of girls came here. Just look at this. <laughs> yeah, the girls love that Mapuche frigging Latin themed bar at the stream. You see, I told you, I told you before, there's always like a lot of girls. Yes, Susan M, that was delusional. I mean, dudes, dudes, just think about it. Was it, when was, when was it like that? I was coming to Moscow and I was not streaming there. Come on, dude, dude. You really think that if I will come to Moscow, when I will come to Moscow again, I will not stream there? Are you kidding me? And then, look, then you are telling me, some of you telling me that I am rude. Well, I'm not rude when you are just not provoke me, okay? I mean, asking me if I'm gonna stream in Moscow, next time I will be there again. It's like, it's, that is what is rude, okay? That is what is rude first place. Настоящие hot doggy, the real hot dogs. Hi Helsinki. So, I mean, look, I mean, just, just think about it. Just think about it. I mean, I mean, the mofo, the mofo, the mofo really thinking that I will come to Moscow and will leave you, will leave you without the stream there. Okay. So he is thinking that I will dump you. I will dump you. Okay. And so, in your opinion, now, what do I have to respond to that guy, to that freaking Lucas? You just don't provoke me. You guys, anyway, I mean, you in general need to stop to provoke Russia. Cider and Nancy. It's a game of words. It's like Sid and Nancy. And it's like Cider and Nancy. Cider and Nancy. Далеко, 
as many people as so many guys just uh, hanging out in the streets hi mark morris By the way, we are now in Putin's neighborhoods. Putin lived just behind the corner. This is Zalif, the Bay Bar, Nikrasov Street House, 24. American boy, American boy. Morka. It's like a small room bar. Kamorka means small room. There's the bust of Mayakovsky. Vladimir Mayakovsky. This street named after him, Mayakovsky Street.
all pressed Russians. <laughs> The laser projection to Daniel Harms. The riders who used to live here. The rider who used to live here. Joe's spots. That's where they mostly are uh, selling their own beer. Joe's, the beer from Joe's brewery, Russian brewery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't sell. I'm sorry, Sergey. Maybe someday Russia will be free. Uh, Okay, so now I'm going in direction of Nevsky Prospect again. That is the maternity house where Putin was born. And now it's came time for me to connect the power bank.
amazing night to be on a sailboat on the Gulf of Finland. Jacques Godbaus lets me tell you the secrets. In the summertime in St. Petersburg, every night it's amazing to be on a sailboat on the Gulf of Finland. For fuck's sake. I am now returning to Nevsky Prospect. Are you excited? Kentucky fried chicken. Carlos, thank you for the super chats. Special thanks to everybody who are supporting my channel. Blackwood Scottish pub. It's now here is a whole chain of pubs in St. Petersburg. And there, always you can find a good stout. Now, even including a uh, Guinness, which is officially left Russia, but now bringing their beer again through Kazakhstan. But you remember, I'm not buying it anymore because now it's even more expensive than it used to be because of the chain of logistics extended so it's like there's more expenses and the second thing is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna beer uh, i'm not gonna drink a beer of the brands which is like officially officially um well lets me know that i'm not welcomed to drink their beer okay not a big deal especially since we have our own black ship which is exactly the same kind of styles, nitro styles. Okay, we've returned to Nevsky. Funny thing about Nevsky, there's always a people who are telling me, oh, Nevsky again, but in the same time, it just like nothing attract more people than Nevsky. Yeah. Yeah, so I, so you... Like recently I went all over St. Petersburg and Leningrad region to the places like Stare Ladega, Nove Ladega, uh, Tikhvin, Volkhov, Primorsk, Zelenogorsk, Gatchina. Pavlovsk, but nothing attracts more people than Nevsky Prospect. Because you guys seems like love the activity, and here is always a uh, big activity on Nevsky. Many people, many stuff happens.
Yes, all roads leads to Nevsky. That is the conclusion I've made yet three years ago. And Saint Petersburg, no matter where you, no matter where you walk, no matter where you go, after all, all the roads lead to Nevsky. Shin Myra Serge, the street looks very clean. Yeah, this is really what amazes me the most, is that you guys are still uh, surprised that the streets in uh, St. Petersburg are so clean. But they are clean not only in St. Petersburg. Спасибо. Это не печка. Я понял. They gave me this bakery. Okay, let's go to the, back to the ladies. Let's go back to my wife and her friends, Anastasia. They are still in the third place. Yeah, the place which is called the third place, okay? Yes, this is a breadstick. What is the drinking age? It's 18 years old. Yes, 18. Альбина и Анастасия. Мы She said they are still drinking.
А ты с кем там в баре разговаривал? Какой-то айтишник подошел ко мне. Американец или кто? Ай, нет, а. просто какой-то айтишник. У тебя есть подписчики с Канады? А? Подписчики с Канады есть? Подписчики с Канады есть? Каком? Конечно. Она говорит «Хэлло, Канада». Анастасия uh, saying hello, Canada. Почему тут Канада? Why only Canada? My love is Canada. Ah, she said that your love is in Canada. I met you, two kids. I just returned from Russia and I can't attest that the streets are truly that clean. I can't wait to return this fall winter. Whoa! Awesome, awesome. Nice to see you had that great experience. Here in Russia. Okay, dudes, I need to buy beer, okay? I will return to you. I need to buy a beer. Нам через 7 минут Настю надо провожать до восстания. Она не хочет на такси, хочет на метро. Да? Тогда я только успею сходить. Ходить из туалета, нет? Да, бар. Ладно. Что? Я пойду вот скажу. Вот поставь камеру, чтобы на... Ну вот так поставлю. Вот так движение? Нет. Вот так. Нет. Вас отвяжу вот. Отвяжу вот там. Она сейчас придет. Я сейчас приду. Она снимает. Нет, ты так сделай. Держи. Нет, да я сделаю. Thank you. 
Это все? Пропало. Мы немножко вот так развернули, а то мы не понимали. с музыкой. А то мне так неинтересно, когда я не вижу, что там пишет и отражение себя. И что, сейчас вот такие вот выходим мы, да? А? Мы сейчас выходим. Видишь, если бы ты не пил, Three minutes to midnight. то мы могли бы Настю здесь. Но так как ты уже выпил... Ну да, извините, извините. Ты меня сидишь, прокатишь, а я буду тестировать. Ну, в нашем тандеме, когда это случится. Это нужен третий, Сережа. Будь за рулем. Когда мы встречаемся с Настей, мы очень много пьем. Прям очень много. Это второй бокал за вечер. Второй коктейль за вечер. Да, и, и то там, блин, всю льду. Один льду. А лед превращается в воду. Two minutes to midnight. Две минуты до полуночи. Что там случилось с музыкой? There is something with the music. Good fellow. За здравие, брат Сергей Сербия Россия. Да, он там может свои наушники складывать. А может вообще просто уходит? Анастасия тоже из Уфы. Анастасия is from Уфа as well. A Victor asking, yes, she is. <laughs> Actually, they all were living in the same neighborhood. It's like uh, my wife and Anastasia. It's very demasculinized. It's very demasculinized. What does it mean, demasculinized? I don't agree with you. I mean, here our men look like men, mostly. Yeah, the girls look like girls. You know, we are now inside of the courtyard of the whole building which used to belong to one of the nobles here before the revolution. And now here, just people are So now we need to escort uh, Anastasia to the metro because it's uh, not a long time left before the last train in direction of the north of St. Petersburg. She is now living on Lesnaya. Lesnaya, да? Лесная метро стейшн, the red line, это красная. Ну да. Red line of Saint Petersburg metro. Hello, Mosen. Hello, Elvis Ibragimovich. The temperature is plus 20 degrees now. Пойдем.
пойдемте. Музло закончилось. В любом случае. I'm not sure why the music stops. Seems like some technical difficulties. But anyway, the music here is like far not the best. I'm not sure why they are not playing the house music here. I love you all, especially you, Serge. Good night. Good night to you. Brown complained about music. Music. I wonder if she is here at all. Верма Since Солнцепек это хорошо, если вы понимаете, о чем я.
bikers. Saturday night in St. Pete's. Happy to share this time with you. Не знаю. Не знаю, куда мы зайдем. Можем на районе. Sanctions works. You see more and more people now switch to the horse carriages. Hi, dog. Я должен был ходить, что ли?
the trunk on electric scooter. How do you like it? Those girls seem wear drunk. Neva, favorite movie theater of Albina. Don't drink and scoot. Yeah, it's interesting that, well, legally it's a great zone now. Legally it's a great zone now because there is no any certain rule, certain law, which is prohibit you to uh, ride the electric scooter being drunk, okay? However, however, why I say this is in a gray zone. However, if any accidents will happen uh, because of that, so it still like can be a, uh, how to say, um, and, um, it's like the, the, the reason that will go against you that you was drunk. Maybe not directly by the law, which is prohibited to ride the electric scooter, which does not exist yet, but maybe some other law, okay? Of like just being drunk, like making maybe a, uh, um, a dangerous activity for society being drunk. That's why I think it's like in a kind of gray zone. Hi, Fred L. Bye. Площадь восстания. Метро Station. 
the red line of St. Petersburg Metro. Also from here you can get to the Mayakovsky station just through the underground of the green line of St. Petersburg Metro. Ну да, сидели спокойно, разговаривали. Там кости перемалывали. А тут что-то непонятно, обычно показывают сколько. Но тут сейчас, видишь, ДПСники регулируют. Ну да, они сейчас вручную регулируют. Is she going back to Ufa? No, she's going back home. She is living in Saint Petersburg. Yulia? She will go to Ufa at the 25th of July, Alvira said, for a week. Mm -hmm. Moskovsky Vaxel. The Moscow railway terminal. By the way, now they have extra, extra subsun rides because the traffic of people going uh, from Moscow to Saint Petersburg and vice versa increased significantly because of this summer period, summer time, peak season. Everybody from Saint Petersburg wants to Moscow. And everybody from Moscow wants to St. Petersburg. Yes, I mean, that's funny, but it's it's true. It's like Moscovites dreaming to come to St. Petersburg. And St. Petersburgers are dreaming to come to, to Moscow for a weekend. <laughs> Look, it's 12.20. Look at this traffic. By the real Jackson. St. Petersburg looks like a great city. Looks like. Come on, looks like. It is great city. Looks like. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you punk? Okay, these great these guys are crazy about the fact that now uh, that intersection is like manually controlled by the road police. You know, like the road police, because now it seems like they give the road to one of the delegations of Saint Petersburg International Economic Forum. It's uh, a lot of a lot of big shots, a lot of big shots these days in Saint Petersburg. A lot of big shots. Не зря у нас, кстати. Нет, Дмитрий Савин, big shots of всяких пропускают, big shots of. Стоим. Помнишь, не зря 
Uh -huh. So yesterday we were wondering why the navigator uh, was showing us the roads through the side roads to Vavilov Lov to the studio yesterday. Uh, probably that's why. Because Nevsky. Ничего себе. И мы снимаем. Да уж, хорошо, что мы не на их месте. Сейчас бы стояли в пробке. Да уж. Представь, на машине бы решили покататься. Ну, уже завтра все закончится. But the St. Petersburg International Forum is over. Tomorrow it's gonna back get back to normal. By the way, yesterday Putin was in town uh, because he performed and uh, Saint Petersburg in Saint Petersburg International Economic Forum. Absolutely unbelievable amount of contracts were signed on Saint Petersburg International Economic Forum for the last three days. It's unbelievable. It's just insane. Wow. Are there homeless people living in St. Petersburg? Well, sometimes, sometimes we see some, but very seldom. Like maybe once a week. But it's not even a fact if they are homeless, maybe just a beggars or drunkards. Twelve twenty five, twelve twenty five AM. What is the fascination with homeless people? Yeah, good fella. I also I, I still can't get it. I can't get it. Why out of everything what Russia and especially in particular St. Petersburg can offer? like people focus on homeless people who we anyway barely see the real jackson i've never seen a live video of rush until now thank you i want to see more okay dudes and if you will then if you will go back to the beginning of the video then you will be even more shocked Welcome to the stream, welcome to Russia. Okay, little by little we're going to our neighborhoods. Yes, yes, Zipernek. That is certainly looks like a free country if I've ever seen one. Whoa. Yes, man, finally, finally you realized. You realized that Russia is the real land of freedom not the imaginary one, the real land of freedom. Mm -hmm. 
нет, счетывается вообще наоборот, даже как-то широковато мне уже. А мы просто, видишь, все время сидели и пили вот эти напитки со льдом, угу. прям замерзлые. Finally, finally, zipper neck realized. Finally. Wow. That was long. But every long road begins with the first step. Meanwhile, here is a karaoke club. Да. Ну а чем не работать в субботу? Не, ну бывает, что выключена подсветка. Ну не в субботу же, наверное. В субботу бывает. Значит, там просто какая-то приватная вечеринка. Ну, вчера такая же была. Yeah, zipper neck, my congratulations. Finally, finally, you've realized. I thought we've lost you forever. I thought there's never left even a little piece of rational bra brain inside of your head. But damn it, it turns to be that there is still something. This is a thinnest club next to my neighborhood, and that is the Theodore Cathedral. Theodore Cathedral, the cathedral here dedicated to 300 years to 300 years anniversary of the house of Romanovs I mean the dynasty of Romanovs Okay, we enter our neighborhood. Что там? They have made the swimming pool here. In the summertime, there was the ice skating rink. Now there is the swimming pool. Susan M, thank you for another wonderful tour of this beautiful city. I feel like I'm there, kind of. Well, not quite actually. There is in person, but you know what I mean. Always an excellent experience. Uh, that's great, Susan, because this is what I want. That initially was the purpose of my live streams, because I wanted uh, making the live streams uh, non-stop, no cuts, no edits, 
uh, in order you to feel like you're here with me guys if not in person then at least virtually and it's always great to see uh, that it works yeah I mean uh, literally you see everything what I see and that's non-stop no cuts no edits uh -huh. look little by little the trees in my neighborhoods are really growing up wow wow I remember I remember yet uh, several years ago uh, you know some subs complains about my neighborhoods that there is no that there is no no much trees in my neighborhoods and uh, they never cares so I was saying this is the new neighborhoods and they are just planted the trees give it a time okay but anyway they intentionally preferred to make it look like they never heard what I said and to keep complaining that my neighborhoods don't have enough of trees but now those trees are finally becoming like uh, really big this channel is truly a cultural performance art form yes it is yes it is here on my channel you really can see what Russia is here you can see what really Russia is not what I'm telling you it is okay Here you really can see what is Russia and I was taking it to 80 cities and towns those who are watching my channel quite regular believe me that you saw probably more of Russia than most of Russians themselves because like anywhere else um, uh, well the regular citizen do not travel a lot okay maybe like traveling around uh, their towns their regions well like like some kind of state okay uh maybe from time to time like uh, once a year they are traveling to the cities like moscow st petersburg kazan maybe i'll die but not much it's like a regular person in United States and I don't know England probably do not travel all over the country and together with me you traveled to 80 cities and towns of Russia 80 think about it 80 eight zero okay this is my neighborhood this is the central alley you know traditionally recently Ronald told me told me that his neighborhood is much better than mine it's much better than mine yeah Ronald he is delusional no matter where he go it's always no matter where he go and where he stay it's always much better it's always much better than my neighborhoods or St. Petersburg but then he appeared in kind of awkward situation when even his subs are telling him okay so you just just a few months ago you used to say that Apesia is way better than St. Petersburg but after all you return to St. Petersburg and consider to buy an apartment here or the house so no matter where Ronald go it's always much better than my neighborhood yeah. Byron Saturday, it reminds me of Redmond, Washington, a nice suburb of Seattle where microphone is based. Awesome. Пошли, может, туда? 
Может быть, зайдем в пивную культуру. Окей, okay, I think that in the end, maybe it makes sense to go to beer culture. Beer is culture place. Uh, this is the local bar slash, slash store. У них обычно беспонтовое пиво. У них там типа вишня, вино же. А мне надо пиво. пиво. There is no better channel than Sergei's to see Russian sites and learn history of the country. Yes, but at the same time, unfortunately, so many people prefer just to listen to somebody about what Russia is. Just to listen. В основном нет. В основном они офигевают вообще, Тоже. что у нас можно ходить. Причем там неважно, я там еду в Челябинск, или в Екатеринбург, или в Новосибирск, или в Москву. Но там реально есть опасные районы. Beer is culture. Что, зайдем? Ты больше пить? Я выпью. Давай едем там за Нет еще. Сейчас там пока он занят. You are a fan. I like the role with the girl. She was my choice the moment you first met them. I like the role with the girl. Okay. Ooh, we're almost home. But I just decided to get one more one more glass of beer. If you have any alcohol in your fridges, take that as well. And let's drink together. I think to go to another travel tomorrow, to drive somewhere. Завтра думаю как поехать. Ну что ли? Нет, не утром уж. Rosalind the Strona, I need one now. Yes, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Yeah. 
kauen. Так я не знал. Hey, Rosalinda. Albina said that you had a birthday. So happy belated birthday to you. I somehow never knew. Minsk. Let's visit Minsk. Minsk. I mean, I understand that probably soon Belarus will become a part of Russia, but for now it's not. Look, I told you fucking many times that my main focus now is still Russia. Why the hell I have to go to Minsk? Come on. Where here is yet so many unexplored places in Russia. Why do I have to go to Minsk? Byron. And it seems like you're telling me this already not the first time. And I already told you. But you keep telling me to go to Minsk. Are you okay? But you let me know. Are you okay? Or is there is something wrong? There is something wrong in your head? You tell me. Aristoteles, cheers from Frankfurt. Hi to Germany. Sergey, you promised me you'd get some royish at some points. My father-in-law, Semagon, will blow your minds. Uh, yes, yes, that's one of big cities that I still never visited. And I gotta go there. Uh, I was in Voronezh for like a one night last year on the way from Moscow to uh, Sochi and we stayed there uh, and I remember that when I was riding there at least like those central streets they were amazing but I never got to the city I mean I mean like I never really like uh, was was exploring that Sergey, is there a bus to Tallinn or Helsinki from St. Petersburg? Well, it all used to be. Now I don't know. I don't know now. You know what? You remember how yet uh, several years ago I told you that one of my uh, one of my uh, closest travel plans was to go to Finland and to go to all those Baltic countries like Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland and uh, yes like maybe to make the road trip and uh, then to from poland to get to belarus and uh, through e95 highways return uh, to moscow and st petersburg but now i don't want to go there because all these countries they are made it so clear that we are not welcomed okay so why do i have to go to the place where they uh lets me know so clearly that uh, I'm not welcome so uh, I respect myself I don't want to go to the place where they like let me know that they don't want to see me okay I don't want to go there Let folks pay your fare if they wish to travel long distance. Well, my members, they are already supporting my travels. But those are the travels around Russia. I have 0.3% of members who are supporting my channel. Well, this is kind of shame that only 0.3% of my subscribers are my members but it's better than nothing
You are always welcome in my hometown. Thank you, Steven. Hi, Atom Bomb 31458. Uh, teenage Wasteland seems like the whole world's gone crazy. No, dudes, not the whole world. You don't have to call like uh, those NATO countries the whole world. Hey, Sergey. Hey, Atom Bomb. Alan Bailey, Turkey, we are not like our government's body. We are with you more than you maybe think. That's good to hear. Mariana Mucha, Hola, Sergey and Albina. Hola. Almost 900 memberships, not bad. 900? No, no. 0.3%, it's like, it's like now I have less than 200 members. Man, it's not 3%, it's I have family in Murmansk, Moscow, and Voronezh. I'll take a bullet for any of them. I was in Murmansk, I was in Moscow, but I was not making... Zero point three percent of 200 is... No, dude, no, no. What's with your math? Hey, Victor, what's with your math? Kind of boring stream, not gonna lie, disappointed. Okay. I was walking all around St. Petersburg on Saturday night with so many people around. So many girls around. And do you find this boring? Okay, then I can't help. Go and watch the uh, pathetic liberals who are just sitting at home and uh, just talking about how pathetic Russia is. And then you will not be disappointed, okay? No problem, man. No problem. Yeah. 
I appreciate the work you put into your channel. Christian Nice, thank you. The menu, menu. Your live casts are very nice. It's very relaxing. I like the white nights especially. We have it here in Northern Lapland as well. Uh, right now, only sun is shining 24 hours. Yeah, that's more like a polar day, not the white nights. Yeah, who would thought Max Default turned to be a uh, liberal? <laughs> Rosalind Strona, thanks so much for the super sticker. That bartender still serve those customers. Atom Bomb 31458, thanks for the super chat. Thank you for supporting my channel and giving the power to it. Finally, it seems like I can make an order. to most bars serve alcohol around here most bars until 1 a.m. but many bars are working like the whole night especially on Fridays and Saturdays well exactly this one is like 
until 1 a.m. So I have like maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. Then little by little they will closing. All right, the third can of beer, stout from Bakunin. It's a local uh, brewery. Oh, прекрасно, прекрасно. Do you guys are having a friends who are telling you and all of your other friends like hey let's go to the bar let's go to the bar when we will go to the bar damn need to go to the bar will you go to the bar after all you go to the bar and that one is not going to the bar well we have one of one one sub like that his name is Sean King how do you say black ship in Russian look uh, if we talk about beer we don't translate it it's just a black ship okay just a black ship but in fact it's translated as черные овцы Say Cherna of Tsa. Okay, this sounds similar. Um, Vinny the Puch, love from Canada. Thank you, Sergey and Albina, for all the beautiful videos around Russia and the house music. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you for being the member of my channel already for 13 months. Everybody who never joins the membership of my channel, yes, you need to join. You need to join my 0.3% members club atom bomb three one four five eight thanks again for the super chess what Albinchka. Alvinchka is a DJ now. Did you know? The day after my wedding in Mormonsk in 2004, my father-in-law, the Semagon brewer, brought me a huge bottle of Baltica to have with my breakfast. Quite a shock for a Brit who hadn't traveled much. By the way, I was thinking about making my own beer just for myself 
actually it's not that expensive to buy all that uh, home brewery uh, and ingredients but for the reason I live in the apartment if I lived in the house I would definitely buy my own brewery but once I live in the, in, in the apartment well I don't think that apartment is the place for a beer brewery Отличное пиво. This, this beer is nice. No bad lights or anything or anything like or any or anything that tastes like it. Look, dudes. In 2017, I went to the United States and I used to, to stay in the place of my uh, subscriber, Dream Haley. Hi, Dream, if you're watching. Yesterday he was watching my DJ set, by the way. Uh, and uh, he had a, a whole pack of Bud Lights in his fridge. And we were drinking that Bud Lights after like five six cans of Bud Light I still I still felt like I never got buzzed even a little bit I mean like what the hell I mean like what the hell what's what's the sense what's the sense of Bud Light if it tastes like almost like water and it never give you a buzz Major Duquet, will you visit a car show anytime soon? I'd love to see some older Soviet cars or any of that. Look, I already was making the videos like that. Just uh, several weeks ago, check that out. Check that out. There was the video. It's called St. Petersburg Transport Fest. And there was so many Soviet buses, uh, tracks. I mean, like lorries, uh, trolley buses, trams. Go and check that out. Here was the St. Petersburg Transport Fest, and there was mostly it's all about like the uh, transportation uh, vehicles, trams, trolley buses, buses, trucks, so called special cars. 0.4% of alcohol, damn. It's almost like nothing. What, for example, here is 5.8. I mean, for me, it was even like annoying to drink Bud Light, like so much of it, like I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, but I mean, I'm not getting bust. And it doesn't even have that saturated beer taste. I don't know how it turns to be like the most popular beer in America. I think you and Albina are great. Thank you, Rosalinda. Rosalinda, thanks. Thank uh, you. Yelena Brzechalska. Hi, Yelena. Everybody. What kind of city is Petersburg? I will come there soon. Would you suggest? Does the beer you drink right now taste good? And what is the price? The price is 400 rubles, which is like uh, five bucks. And uh, today I was walking for more than three hours all around St. Petersburg. Nevsky Prospect, Rubinstein Bar Street, Litany Prospect. Zhukovsky Bar Street, Nikrasov Bar Street. And finally, you're asking me what is St. Petersburg like? Are you freaking kidding me? 
Are you freaking kidding me? Well, St. Petersburg is awesome. But if you know, if you want to know how exactly is that, I mean, just rewind four hours earlier, okay? And you can see, you can see how beautiful it is, how amazing it is, how many great people here, and how many awesome like, ladies walking around, and uh, how many bars, V L D O S T R. Cheers. Zipper neck. Today was as epic stream as even as even uh, Zipper neck finally realized that Russia is the land of freedom. And you need to understand that it's actually a big thing because Zipernek was a proven liberal for a long time. At what time do the bars stop serving alcohol there? Look, there is such a rule only for the stores. For the stores. The bars can sell beer 24-7. I've made this video for Ronald just as a joke and he published that on his channel. Hi, Stacy Cool. He's saying I've got to find those shoes. No. It's a selfie that Anastasia was just taking. 
Uh, he said he sent you a beach photo earlier, Joshua Sampson. Yes, yes. You know, I'm actually, I'm like, I'm trolling him big time. And uh, he seems like don't get it. Look, once he sent me the photo of Brezhnev, Brezhnev kissing with the presidents of uh, Eastern Germany. Okay, I mean, like uh, it's not even like a photo, but it's even like a graffiti, graffiti. And I told him, what the hell, what the hell are you doing, man? Why the hell are you sending me the photo, I mean, of two men kissing? And he started like saying, oh, it's just, it just, it just a picture, it's just an epic picture. It just like, I didn't mean that, okay? But then he sent me the picture, the video of himself laying on the beach of Abhazia. Okay, like uh, naked. Uh, well, he wanted to show me that he is on the beach. Like, hey, look, while you're here in your freaking St. Petersburg, in your freaking cold St. Petersburg, I'm here. I'm laying on the beach and getting a ton. Okay, so then I told him, dude, for fuck's sake, what are you doing? Why did you send me the photo of you like with your shirt off? Okay, look, at first, two men kissing, then you with your shorts off. Man, look, let me tell you, I'm not like that. <laughs> Brianna B, hello, Brianna. Buy Albina a beverage, Sergey, please. You are lucky to have her with what's left get some more styles yeah i mean the thing is i uh, i mean she don't want more she don't want more okay but i don't know maybe now it's just in which speech yeah yeah it's just in which speech okay she said she don't want to drink but next time okay all right, all right. Okay, the continue of the story. Okay, at first, the, the, the photo of two men kissing, uh, Brezhnev and that president of uh, Germany. Then him with his shorts off and that gay-ish giggle laying on the beach. And not long ago, he sent me the photo, uh, the video of uh, like a, his foot playing around his naked foot i told him come on you are not uma turman if you know what i mean you are not uma turman to send me a uh, foot fetish videos why are you doing that why are you continue doing that okay And uh, he's saying me that I'm, I'm mental. Сейчас. Ну, 
дальше, я не знаю, где это. Что ты ищешь? Да, там этот Рональд мне отправлял. Все, они закрываются. Да, все, уходим. Все. А, во, во. You think it's normal? You think it's normal? You think it's normal? You think it's normal, like without any reason. So at first, the the the, the picture of Brezhnev and the presidents of Germany kissing. Then a freaking video with his shirt off. <laughs> and then this freaking food. <laughs> I mean, look, to say honest, uh, I mean, to say honest, I understand that Ronalds never has any, uh, um, you know, how to say, like a uh, gayish context, but I just love giving him a shit, okay? I just love, like, uh, giving him a hard time. <laughs> so I was trolling him. Uh, no, I would, uh, but, but by the way, but okay, so it's okay about like him laying on the beach to show me that Abkhazia is like warmer than St. Petersburg. Okay, it's okay, he sent that art with the Brezhnev and uh, the president of Germany, but still the question is opened, why he sent me like uh, his foot playing, his naked foot playing, and those are not Uma Turman uh, foot, okay? Okay, tobacco, vape, hookahs. Okay, my neighborhoods, my neighborhoods. No more, but там этот там солнце. Brianna, we probably will drink more tomorrow Albina said she don't want to know anything more meanwhile here is a lounge bar another lounge bar it's called Green Garden uh, but I see they are mostly sw smoking a hookah there but I'm not a fan of hookah places I hate hookah And there's another bar called Vegas. Hi, Helger. So you're Alkash? You're alcoholic? <laughs> Helger wants to on Alkash.
конечно, лучше не пить. This is 24-7 wine shop, wine and groceries. And you know that if, if you remember, yet a year ago, two years ago, sometimes this store really helps when everything here close in this neighborhood already. Um, when everything is close in this neighborhood already, here is the option. You can buy you can come here and uh, they can still sell you alcohol but the only condition will be to open up the cap because they have the license of the bar and uh, so if they will open up the bottle they can sell it to you and that will be legal in a moment when magnet you see magnet magnet it's not doing like that a Victor asking what is the rent here in this neighborhood? I have no idea because I own because I own because I own the apartment here and I pay only utility bills, which are like about 100 bucks a month. Okay, but I've been saying a one-room apartments will be about like 500 bucks. That's even better when they even open beer for you. Yeah, but for example, if you want to buy like five bottles, which you plan to drink like during the next couple hours, it's not always great. Damn. All right. Dude. Thank you all for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Sergey Baklykov together with me here. Albina Baklykova. Bye. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope not everybody like Max Defaults, Desfaults, who turned to be a liberal and who considered today's live stream as boring. I mean, this was one of the funniest streams today. And he considered that boring. Okay. Bye. Probably was not much of diversity as some people noticed here. Okay, bye guys. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. My neighborhood, the local time 127, and you see the sun is already about to start to rise.